this is the action sequence. <laughs> so uh, I'm giving samples of Jamaica, which is hibiscus tea, which is consumed in all of the Latin American countries in the Middle East. In the Middle East, it's called catechae. Uh, and uh, it's purple. And I'm, I brought it because it's summertime. And uh, instead of drinking the bulls and the gators and all the artificially sweetened things, because I don't want my people to eat sugar, and I don't want them to drink artificial sweeteners, okay? And this tea, of course, I, I didn't ice it. I just, I just made it, okay? But uh, and you don't need it. So for a, a, this is a quart, and I just put in about half or a third boiling water, and then the rest is just water, okay? And again, it's one of those things where you just um, you put in as many of the flowers because these are little. Can you come in close? These are hibiscus flower buds, and they're purple. This is the little bag of them, and uh, they're purple, and they make this gorgeous, delicious purple tea. What did you think? Uh, it's tart, right? It's it's a tart taste which is why it's wonderful for summer, okay? Because then it really quenches your thirst. Of course it can be iced. Ooh, that ought to be good. Of course it can be iced, so you could drink it hot, you could drink it cold, but uh, I really want you to begin to drink this. And, and nutritionally, in terms of the benefits, so it's a, of course, it's a good substitute for all of the garbage that's in the market. Um, the bag that I brought is probably a two ounce bag. Um, for most of the Spanish markets where you buy it, you're looking at about four to five dollars a pound. A pound. Okay? A pound. Quite a, bit, a large bag, no? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This, this is, was just about two ounces what I brought here. Okay? But why this is so wonderful for us as diabetics, okay, is because it is loaded with phytonutrients. Mm -hmm. Phytonutrients, okay. Phyto is a Greek word that means plant. Okay, so the word phytonutrients means plant nutrients. Hibiscus, okay, is a plant. The flowers are dried and what you took in the bags, I, and there's more so take as much as you want, uh, what you took um, is then the flower that has been dried. You see how beautiful purple it is, mm -hmm. okay? So in terms of phytonutrients, why they are so important for diabetics is because they help fight inflammation. They help fight inflammation. Exactly how they do that, we don't know. Okay, scientists are just discovering this and we're figuring out exactly how it works. Okay? But we do know that phytonutrients fight inflammation. Okay? So I'm going to give you a quick way to know if a food is high in phytonutrients. Okay? Because you want to know that. And the more of these high phytonutrient foods that you eat, overall the better for you. Okay? Now this is not about controlling your blood sugar per se. This is now in terms of your whole body. Okay? All right, so, but you got this, right? Mm -hmm. How do you spell Jamaica? Oh, uh, Jamaica is J A I M A Jamaica, C A. Like that. Thank you. Yeah, but in any of the Hispanic markets, you just go and say, what a Jamaica. Right? Donde esta Jamaica? Right? Yes. 
Okay, I'm telling you. <laughs> right? You okay. So in terms of phytonutrients, okay, there are four quick, easy ways to know if a food is high in phytonutrients. So numero uno, so these are high. So number one, it has to be a plant. But I'm not even putting that as a number one because it's a given because of the word. Say. Thank you, muchas gracias. Okay, so number one is you're looking for color. And what color do we see here? Green. Nen. Purple. Purple. Nen. Oh, purple. 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 <laughs> red. I guess in that red, red, purple, red. Yeah. Okay. So, but this is not just purple color. This is all colors. So, okay. So, uh, Simone says green. Yes. Okay. So, your dark <laughs> greens. You can do that to green tea, do that. Like the yes, green, green tea. tea. Right. Green tea. Right. Even, even black tea, because black tea is a strong color. Even coffee. Coffee is from a plant. And somebody told me cinnamon. Cinnamon and uh, turmeric. So now I take out my spices. And you see, this is the action part. So this is, what spice is this? Turmeric. Thank you, darling. And what color do we see with the turmeric? Orange. 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 Yeah. Right? Okay. So um, this is my show and tell bag here. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's uh, Okay. So we have turmeric as a spice, right? And strong color. Uh, cinnamon. I don't have a cinnamon here, but everybody knows what cinnamon looks like, right? We have a nice brown color, right? Okay. So we have color for our vegetables. Tell me some vegetables that have a lot of color. Eggplant. Eggplant, right. The skin on the squash. eggplant. Squash. Squash. The winter Carrots. squash. Carrots. Okay. Tomato. Tomato, right? Okay. Right? So we have strong color, okay? Your dark greens, all spinach and kale and collard greens, okay? And the bok choy, okay? So all of your dark colored, and tell me, fruit that has color? Watermelon. Watermelon, Watermelon. in the summertime, right? Yeah. I said peach. Uh, peaches. Apples. Apple, the skin. The skin on the apple, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, the skin, right? Okay. Uh, citrus. Citrus, Mango. all your citrus fruit. Mangoes, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have color. Comprende? I'm not going to write everybody, everything down, right? Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. Okay. So color is numero uno. Numero dos is seed. Ah, seed. Strawberries, blackberries. Yes, your berries. And the berries are also color. Right? Mm -hmm. So seed would be almost everything. And then, uh, not almost everything. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, like, uh, so eggplant has seed. Cucumber. Cucumber has seed. Yeah. Well, Your tomato. squash has seed. Tomato has seed, right? Strawberries. Strawberries have seed. Figs have seed, mm -hmm. right? And, and I said all the berries, okay? Um, a grain, so this is quinoa. Quinoa, and this is actually a seed. Has anybody, anybody eaten this? Eaten? It's delicious. It's delicious, right? Yeah. It, this is a grain, uh -huh. but it's actually a seed. We use it. We use it here now in this country uh -huh. as a like we would cook rice. Uh -huh. And actually, rice is a seed. Yeah. Right. I make tabbouleh with it. Yes. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. So this is actually a seed, and then we have the real seeds such as sunflower seeds and pumpkin uh -huh. seeds. Right. Uh -huh. So we have then this whole category, so begin to see your food in terms of color, in terms of seeds, mm -hmm. right, okay? Because these are again going to be highest in phytonutrients, okay? The third is skin. Skin. So, tell me some things that have skin that we eat. Potatoes. Grapes. Potatoes, grapes. Eggplant, 
cherries, peaches, apples, squashes, right? Squash. Apples, squash, right? Okay, right? S skin. I mean, uh, yeah, skin. I'm into skin. I'm into seeds. Um, but also skin, I want you to, let's expand our minds, right? Whole wheat. Bingo, right? So this is a kernel. These are kernels of whole wheat, okay? And this is technically a seed, also just like rice is a seed. And here's my brown rice. So rice and whole wheat, these are wheat berries. These are literally the kernels of wheat, okay? So these truly then fall into two categories because they're both seeds. And where's the skin on these? The shell part of it? The shell part of it, exactly. This is the unrefined part, okay? Because when the rice is brown, it still has the skin. Which is why I don't want you to eat the white rice. I do not eat the white rice. Who eats white rice still? <laughs> but no, 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 no. So for you, you have basmati brown rice. They have lovely basmati brown rice. First, yeah. Right? I have it at the store. <laughs> she has it at the store. Good, <laughs> when you bring it into your house, and when you start to eat it. <laughs> okay? Because the white has the skin removed, and when we take away the skin, we, we take away the fighting nutrients. Okay, comprende? You eat white rice? Yeah. Yeah, 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 she says. Oh, here's flax seeds. Okay, and uh, don't eat them whole like this. These are whole. You must eat them ground. Because if you eat them whole, whoop, they will go right through you. So you must eat them ground for your body to absorb them. Okay? My aunt had me grind some and yes. then put it in the banana bread for her. Yes. And you can't really taste it. No, you can't taste yeah, it. Yeah, and it's wow. really no, I good. put it in my breakfast cereal you every get morning. At the dollar yeah, store, the 99 cent yeah. store, they have a bag this big. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's and it, it, what did you say? I put it on my veggies too. You put it on your veggies. Okay, good. Good. Okay. Like the turmeric. Right. So, comprende food that is rich in color. Food that is actual seeds or has seeds. So if you're eating grapes and they have seeds, eat the seeds of the grape. If you're eating an apple, eat the apple seeds. Yes, really, yes. Oranges, yes, eat the seeds as, as best you can. You're not going to be able to eat all the seeds, okay? But as best you can, it won't hurt you. No, okay? And the orange is skin. The skin, yes. Uh, you can eat orange skin as long as you know that it's not sprayed. Sure, yeah. Um, okay, there's one more. Okay, so these are the foods that are high in phytonutrients. What do phytonutrients do? Reduce inflammation. Bingo. Okay, so the fourth way that you tell if a food is high in phytonutrients is flavor. And so here we have an interesting thing where we have garlic, white, right? This white kind of creamy colored, right? But there's no woman in the world that cooks without garlic. I mean, right? I mean, you, we, right? we cook with garlic, right? We start our cooking with oil, garlic, right? Onion, because onion is not, right? Right? That's true. So we have garlic. We have onion, right? And not so much celery, not so much celery, okay? Not so much celery, because it's not strong enough in flavor, okay? Mm -hmm. But uh, onion, garlic, radish, because, okay, radish does have the uh, red skin, mm -hmm. but if you're using a daikon radish, right? You know, the white daikon radish, it's white, but it has a strong flavor. Turnips. Turnips, okay? cauliflower, okay? So things like broccoli, so then you have the whole cruciferous vegetable category, okay? Which are higher in phytonutrients and also high in substances which actually help heal the river. So your cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and kale and collard greens, okay? Those things, of course, give us the color 
Okay, so we would eat them in terms of color. But then we have the little cauliflower, 